Hello everyone, welcome back to Blackjack. Goodness, we're getting Obi-Wan on uh, May the 4th. Be with you. And uh, after this, uh, I think it's only uh, Danny Phantom, Krona, and uh, Beerus left from the list that they gave us at the, at the end of last season. Uh, I don't have an appropriate shirt today. I Link and Zelda... <laughs> Makes their noses look really big, but then Link had a freaking honker in the original games. <laughs> um, I am really sore. My back is killing me. I don't know what happened, if I pinched a nerve or what, but... So I'm having to sit here... <sighs> super straight. It's not really conducive to reacting, but, you know... When a death battle calls... We gotta answer. We get spoiled otherwise. Alright, so two uh, sci fi fantasy mentors. Alright. Let's have it. Oh, come on. Heroes come in many different forms. Some are heroic protectors of justice, and others are the teachers who guide us toward a brighter future. And sometimes they're both. Like Obi-Wan <laughs> Kenobi, the Jedi Master of the Galactic Republic from Star Wars. And Kakashi Hatake, the sixth Hokage of the Hidden Leaf and mentor to Naruto. He's Wiz Nine Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze the weapons, armor, and skills. They didn't say it in Japanese order, but they didn't say it in Japanese order. Win a death battle. Yeah. Yeah. On the distant planet of Tatooine lived an elderly hermit known as Old Ben. His heart heavy with regret and stories to tell. Because he wasn't just some crazy old goot. He used to be a badass samurai just. space wizard. <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now that's a name I've not heard in a long time. <laughs> ah, I love a good Obi-Wan liner. Hello there. As a child, Kenobi was inducted into the Jedi Order. Warrior Still monks John? training in the Force over the course of their lives. <laughs> and he was trained by the one and only Liam Neeson. Well, yeah. until he was murdered by space Satan. Though yeah, not before they it happened. A child of prophecy in Obi Wan's future pupil, Anakin Skywalker. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Eventually, Kenobi rose to the top <laughs> ranks of the Order, becoming a Jedi Master. It's a really cute picture Just lately of um, Hayden Christensen course. and Jake like Lloyd together. It was adorable. Lightsaber, <laughs> which can cut through basically anything with enough force. Get it? Including the armor of <laughs> Just kept Kings, going like nothing which was wrong. Volleys from Starfighter Camp. It's an elegant weapon for a more civilized age. Because, you know, mutilating and decapitating people left and right is way more honorable. Kenobi has studied <laughs> seven forms of lightsaber combat and is the undisputed master of Form 3, Serace. Which is oh, okay. all about defense and waiting for your opponent to make a mistake to land a finishing blow. He's so Sounds skilled, good. he can beat Sith Lords in just seconds. But Kenobi's most powerful weapon, or better put, ally, is the Force, an energy yeah. that exists almost everywhere. Jedi can tap into the Force to all the world around them. Like throwing stuff around with telekinesis. You and know, I'm just gonna say it. I like Rey. I like her. <laughs> While Kenobi prefers a more direct dueling approach, his power in the Force is nothing to scoff at. Many years after his time, he was explicitly compared to Jedi Knight Kip Durham, who could move a micro-singularity with a thought. Speaking of thoughts, Ooh. he can mess with yours with the right. Jedi mind trick. Like if he wanted to, he could get jizz stuck in your head. Bottlestick! Gross! What? It's a type of music! Those aliens in Java's palace were playing it. They're called jizz whalers. Huh. I bet Disney was real happy to learn about that one. <laughs> Kenobi's force abilities also include protective fields, illusions. That's just one of those things you know. You it. know they were like, okay, let's uh let's Find out a place to put this because we've got to put it somewhere. Rebreather. What is that? Precognition. Um. Yeah, yeah. Uh, shadow points. Okay, those last two are just made up. energy attacks, even without a lightsaber. Oh, also, uh, he can see the future to a certain extent. Jedi can glimpse the distant future through future. In battle, the Force can guide their movements, predicting danger in advance. Kinda like a space spidey sense. Exactly. With their incredible skill in the Force, Kenobi and Skywalker became a formidable from? duo. 
Obi-Wan ranked up even more and became a general. He's a badass space pilot who can dogfight at near light mm -hmm. speed. According to an official novel... A respectable fraction of light speed. That doesn't say much. Uh... He can even react down to the nanosecond. Alright. I've seen the movies, and Jedi have never done shit like that. Well, other mediums have <laughs> greatly expanded upon Jedi capabilities. Some ah, there are little to no differences in the powers displayed by Jedi in the first one. Obi-Wan has fought an That's army good. while blindfolded, endured a blast from a starfighter, and battled the Sith Anakin Sky... Uh, I mean, Darth Vader! That's when he... So, it doesn't... The continuities change what happened, not how it happened? <laughs> Hey, Athena. Hi. Get up, but that would reveal, or not reveal, undo most of my setup here. His most OP move of all, the high ground. By standing just a few feet above an opponent, he <laughs> gains enormous extra powerfulness. He even warns you about it. Observer Anakin, I have the high ground. It's foolproof. Uh, not exactly. Remember how Darth Maul had the high ground way back when? Against Obi-Wan himself? Where do you think he learned such an awesome move? <laughs> Only Sith Satan could think of something so deadly. Uh-huh. Either way, Obi-Wan sadly failed where it mattered most. Ooh, that's definitely gonna be an F on the old Jedi report card. Yep. Same after class for an epic boss battle on a lava planet. But defeating his fallen student is no small feat. Anakin could telekinetically move starships fast enough to inter... Uh, 18,192 meters per second. That's pretty good. I think. Intercept hypersonic missiles. Based on the scale of this dreadnought and the distance it moved, this would need an energy over 21 megatons of TNT. And that was when he was a newbie. He basically became the most powerful Jedi and Sith in space wizard history. And However, Sith? Kenobi is extremely dedicated to his strict Jedi code. Potentially to a fault. It's debatable if he ever learned from this mistake. After all, he told Luke Skywalker that the only way to ever become a Jedi would be to kill his own father. And he even tried to trick him into never figuring out that fact in the first place. Dick move, Obi. <laughs> Dick move. But even in his yep. worst moments, Obi-Wan Kenobi always fought for the sake of others. He would battle his dark apprentice one last time, sacrificing his life in service of a new hope. And then he became a ghost! <laughs> Don't ruin the moment. Strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Possibly imagine, okay. Shinobi, Hokage, mentor, friend, and porn addict. But... Takashi Hatake is all of these, <laughs> and generally a pretty relaxed guy for someone raised as a ninja assassin. You Isn't there supposed to be like some place place whole thing where we never see his face? Why did we just see his face? committed seppuku because he saved his friends instead of prioritizing a mission. In the shadow okay. of disgrace, this cruel methodology of the ninja and his father's great mistake tore young Kakashi apart. Reminds me of my dad. <laughs> what was his great no, mistake? Definitely. He called it Boomstick. Oh. <clears throat> Despite his hardship, Kakashi proved himself a prodigy. Oh, the same height. A at age 5, a Chunin at age 6, and a Jonin at age 12. For those All of right. us who don't speak anime, he might as well have been doing ninja rocket science in the womb. He quickly mastered okay. the of chakra, a form of spiritual energy within all individuals that ninja No translation down the side? This Come on. Is ninjutsu. He can walk up walls, heal wounds, and even make clones of himself. Plus, he's a master of taijutsu, a.k.a. punching people. But his deadliest cool. technique of all is the 1,000 years of death. The village secret finger jutsu. <laughs> A thousand years of death! Oh, that's gonna get you on a list! Nerf is like 12! <laughs> Chakra can also be molded into nature itself, and Kakashi can use it for numerous elemental attacks. Sure, he can shoot fireballs or dunk you with water, but his favorite is lightning! Lightning zaps! Purple lightning electricity! Clouds, lightning! Huh? Dogs? That's awesome! How do I get one of those? He's even invented a lightning ninjutsu technique. Okay. By gathering electric chakra into his hand or a kunai, 
he becomes capable of piercing just about anything. Even a bolt of Sam. actual lightning. Take that, nature! Man triumphs over you once again! <laughs> this is where Kakashi's own Chidori got its moniker. Raikiri, Lightning Cutter. Raikiri! I'm gonna name my lightning dog. The Chidori does have a downside, though. Its speed and power are so great, they give the user tunnel vision and make the attack generally uncontrollable. Basically, once Interesting. you get on the gas, you're zooming straight ahead, no matter... Okay, the purple... Okay, so it's not just purple electricity, it's cold. Purple electricity jutsu. Okay. What happens? Although, Kagashi, I just the thing to fix it. Long story short, he was drafted into a war alongside his friends Reen and Obito. Jit went down and Kagashi lost an eye. So Obito handed over one of his when he decided to oh sacrifice his life. Holy shit! We don't have any friends like that. <laughs> just give me your eye. No. I'll give it back, I promise. There you are. Obito's eye wasn't an ordinary eye. He was in Uchiha. This was a Sharingan. With his Sharingan, okay. Kakashi not only got some control Those are words. over his Chidori, but he can see a person's chakra, predict their movements, dupe your brain with genjutsu, and even copy jutsu techniques. He's such a filthy plagiarist hmm. that he's stolen over 1,000. Okay, kid. Okay. Makes sense. So I guess it's going to come down to if he can copy force techniques, because force is technically in everything. Uh, it was in yeah. 14 years. Although, since Kakashi is not in Uchiha, he can't exactly turn the Sharingan off. And then Reen jumped in front of his Rankiri and kicked the bucket, too. Man, this guy can't catch a break. And yet, unimaginable loss is exactly what is needed to unlock the Sharingan's next stage. Oh, boy. The Gekyo Sharingan. Oh yeah! With the Mankey Eye, he can cast Kamui, basically sucking objects or people into another dimension. Sure, it uses up a lot of his chakra pool, but it's a pretty clever instant win move. The concept of trauma granting new power fascinates me. So, I've stolen Boomstick's entire beer hoard and placed it in a secure room with 200 tons of TNT. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, you monster! What have you done? Do you feel anything? Just thirsty! Sober and beer punch. horde, that's what he's punch. Next round's on Wiz. Well, for Kakashi, everything sort of worked out in the end. He became a teacher, and this new generation of ninja helped him learn that his dad was right all along. Fresh sort of. you come first, <laughs> unless they blow up all your beer. Wake up! Oh, uh, he's held his own against top tier ninja like Sabuza, Pain, and even his old friend Obito. Back from the dead and evil now, because why not? Kakashi yeah. can definitely compare to fellow ninja master Jiraiya, who can blow up mountains. That takes over 18 megatons of TNT. And he's caught. Hmm. Well, that's not as much as the other kind. But as everyone's feet. Based on the distance it moved before we caught it, he must have reacted within 70 microseconds and moved over 2,000 times the speed of sound. Okay. Sounds like ninja president material to me! <laughs> Not too shabby for a guy who likes to read porn in public. Did I forget to mention that? Because he totally does. The Kashi of the Sharingan <laughs> is nothing if not full of surprises. Right now, all I can give you is just death. That's not what I was expecting him to sound like. <laughs> all right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. But first, you know what's the best? No. Okay, uh... Well... Time for a <laughs> Okay, um... Just on the surface, it sounds like Obi-Wan is stronger. Um... However, I have a feeling that they left stuff out with Kakashi, which they tend to do, which I should have picked up on last time, because I did st I did state last time that there was a feat they gave for Booster Gold where they didn't list the numbers, and they usually only do that with the winners. So I should have guessed that that would mean that Booster Gold would win just because of their presentation, but... It <sighs> They, they are getting predictable in their presentation. Like, even if this one changes it up completely on me. But I can't think of anything that they didn't give a number on. It just feels like they didn't. You know? Uh, I have 20 minutes left on my battery. It says 23%. I just had my battery checked. Okay. 
Um. Can I just hope that they won't have a good time? Well, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> oh. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm stalling. Okay, I'm just gonna start. There we go. Another happy landing. Hello there. Hold it. You're in Konoha territory. I have some questions, if you'll come with me. You want to go home and keep reading your book. I want to go home and keep reading my book. After I kick your ass! Ho <laughs> ho! <laughs> and fight! Mm. Jeez, I used to carry a book with me everywhere, but then I kind of behave similarly with my phone now. But I would at least put it down if someone was trying to freaking kill me. Falling for the deadliest strategy we ninja know. One thousand years of death. Don't try it. I have the high <laughs> And he works with younglings, constantly. I guess I have the high ground. Oh, I don't think so. Jeez, look at the modeling. Let's see every flaw in his skin. Is, is he at least ready so he has something to occupy that eye? Finally, he put it away. Fire style. I mean, have plenty of time to get out of the way instead of acting like a poser. Oh. Is this that subdimension thing he was talking about? people who have vehicle crashes. Is that tunnel vision gonna come in, uh... And Slicity? Oh! Well, because he may have been able to beat Obi-Wan. Yeah, there was that tunnel vision too. Couldn't handle Obi-Wan. <laughs> Get him. Kakashi's wide array of moves certainly kept Kenobi on his toes, <laughs> but the Jedi's arsenal was far more powerful than Obi-Wan. Oh, I didn't see an Obi-Wan yeah, Obi joke Shock coming. It's an internal life energy with a limited supply, but the Force is external and everywhere. Obi-Wan couldn't exactly run out of it, and Kakashi couldn't copy <laughs> Force <laughs> techniques. Because, I mean, he's using external force, not internal chakra. Uh, totally different. As for brute power... Okay, that's what the difference is. telekinesis were fairly comparable. However, Because, Kenobi thinking about the real definition, chakra is kind of everywhere, too. It's life energy, but it everything has it. So, shouldn't he have been able to call on, like, trees and grass and stuff? But I don't know how it well works in that series. Far stronger than that. This is the chosen one we're talking about here. 
Other Jedi have done some crazy stuff, like throwing a fleet of Star Destroyers out of a solar system in seconds, and stopping a whole planet from going kaboom. Oh, and you know how Obi-Wan tore apart Grievous' armor with his bare hands and uh -huh. went to the Sith? The same armor designed to survive Starship Cannon. It withstood a blast that annihilated a subterranean city. Yeah, but he didn't destroy the armor, he parted it apart. I seriously doubt Obi is physically strong enough to rip that armor apart, but apparently the Force is. Even Kamui wasn't a reliable option, since Kenobi's reaction speed was nearly 70,000 times faster than Jeez. More than quick enough to avoid Kamui, especially with his precognition. But we can hear you shouting in the back, what about Kakashi's tool man get your shirt gun that Obito gave him? And the purpose yes, I was certainly him. shouting that. It's difficult that. to justify granting those to Kakashi at all, because they aren't really his. He could only use them when Obito's spirit briefly possessed his body. Even if he did, the result She's probably wouldn't like, change huh? much. Huh? Remember that <laughs> Kip guy who moved to Black Hole? Yeah, he was directly compared to Obi-Wan by Luke himself. If we're to take that at face value, this means Kenobi could theoretically call upon the Force to exert nearly 14 petatons of TNT. Way more than what Kakashi was packing. And even then, Obi-Wan could just crush his organs. Shit, man, don't mess around with Jedi. I know it can seem strange to hear about Jedi being this powerful and deadly, but think of it this way. Part of the reason why the Jedi Code is so strict is because of this immense power at their fingertips. The code tries to keep them, uh, civilized in a way. I thought he was gonna say balanced. Battle, throw those morals out the window. We're looking for who wins a no holds barred fight to the death. Kakashi had many impressive tools, tricks, and techniques, but Kenobi's brilliant speed, overwhelming force, and greater level of power won this bout. In the end, Obi won. The winner is Obi Wan Kenobi. From yeah. Sir. All hey, right. Thanks for watching this episode of Death Battle for the Battle Music for yourself and get it by clicking the link down below. And if you want to watch more stuff, check the boxes This is someone named Hero's Shade. Okay, who is it? He's a phantom. Okay, Danny Phantom versus Jake Long. Interesting. Okay, I knew people were uh, debating with, uh, who he was going to fight. As is always the case, um, I know the the common uh, person, uh, character, rather, brought up for Beerus is Arceus. No. No, 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 no. Arceus is a lazy bastard, and Cyrus was right. Not entirely right. He still needed to be stopped, because he was still also wrong. But he had a point, and that point is only exacerbated when you see Arceus in action. And I do mean in action. As in, not doing shit. <laughs> Arceus is a lazy god who doesn't even intervene when its own children are being are having their body parts extracted to make chains to enslave its other children, and it's literally within spinning distance. It can literally lean over the edge of the Hall of Origin, draw on Cyrus, and it doesn't do anything. It's that close, and it doesn't intervene, and it's a lazy god, and it... <laughs> <laughs> knows an entire region is battling over it, doesn't do squat until someone manages to conquer all the kingdoms in it, and then, only then, does it bother to show its ugly, stupid, robot face. <laughs> is it weird that that actually makes me like Arceus more? I just don't want it to fight Beerus. <laughs> Although Beerus is also lazy. <laughs> I mean, he's a cat, come on. Terry Amish sure loves cats. I mean, he based uh, Corrin on his own cat, <laughs> who he had just gotten at the time, and who lived until he was almost done with Z, so that's a pretty long time. Uh, anyway. Um, yeah, this went about as well as, I could, as could be expected. Like I said, I couldn't really put my finger on anything that they left out for Kakashi, because I'm not familiar with him at all. And I'm not really familiar with Obi-Wan. I mean, I've seen the movies, and I haven't seen the cartoon. I haven't seen the animated movie. And delving into the novels is just a whole load of nope for me, but... Mm. Delving into the novels is just a whole load, load of nope for me. But, uh... I've heard that some of them are quite good. Like, uh... Some of them in particular, I've heard are really good. 
but I'm just not really interested in delving that far. <laughs> like, I like Star Wars when it's there, but I don't necessarily go and seek it out, you know? <laughs> it's one of those things that's just nice to have around. One of those franchises, the battery is low, that you're just glad is there. Um, since my battery is running out, I'm just going to end this here. Um, anyway, though, yeah, I like the modeling. Something in the movement was a little stiff. Uh, that part where he was, like, dragging, like, diving Kakashi into the ground. Uh, something just felt off about that. I don't, I don't know what it was, but I really love the modeling. And uh, I know it was by Devil Artemis again, and I think he's really talented. Um... Where do you people get voice talent? Because, uh, I can provide you with quite a bit. <laughs> okay, I gotta go. I'll see you in uh, two weeks. Bye-bye!